and welcome to TWS TV. Over the past year, Ghana's economy has faced immense challenges, compelling several international companies to leave our shores. This is especially concerning given the role multinationals have played in job creation and economic growth. But what exactly is happening? Let's start with the precarious economic environment. From 2022 onwards, the economic environment in Ghana has been unstable. Here's a closer look at the factors. Rising inflation. Inflation has been on a consistent upward trajectory, hitting double digit figures and eroding the purchasing power of businesses and consumers alike. In 2022 alone, inflation peaked at over 50%, making it difficult for companies to price their products competitively. Currency depreciation. The Ghanaian CD has seen significant depreciation against major currencies like the US dollar and the euro in 2022. The CD lost over 50% of its value, making imports more expensive and increasing the operational costs for businesses reliant on foreign supplies. High corporate taxes. Ghana's tax regime has placed a heavy burden on businesses, with corporate tax rates amongst the highest in the region. In addition, new levels such as the e-levy and VAT increases has further tightened profit margins. Companies are finding it challenging to stay profitable amid soaring taxes. Power outages, doom so and energy challenges. Another significant challenge affecting businesses and the business environment in Ghana is the frequent power outages, locally known as doom so, or more recently redressed as doom CSA. The persistent issue of regular power supply has plagued businesses for years, and many companies have had to invest heavily in generators, significantly increasing operational costs, rising utility costs. Coupled with frequent power outages, rising utility costs for electricity and water have further strained corporate budgets, making it difficult for companies to maintain profitability. Poor governance and regulatory hurdles. Poor governance and regulatory hurdles have also contributed to the challenging business environment. Inconsistent policies, um, businesses have raised concerns over frequent policy changes, making long-term planning really, really difficult. economy has been particularly volatile due to inflation and currency depreciation. For multinational companies operating in this environment, maintaining profitability has become increasingly challenging. Rising costs, unstable exchange rates, frequent power outages and high corporate taxes have made long-term planning difficult. As multinationals face these challenges, the economic environment has pushed them to reassess their priorities. Profitability challenges and high borrowing costs are key reasons for their departure, which we'll explore further in the next chapter. Popular Delivery Service Glogo announced its departure from Ghana effective May 10th, 2024. The company cited profitability challenges and reassessment of investment opportunities as primary reasons for their exit. After carefully reviewing our investment strategy, we found out that the current economic environment in Ghana made it challenging to sustain operations profit profitably. Similarly, Junior Foods, the e-commerce platform food delivery division, shut down operations in December 2023 due to unsuitable market conditions and economic factors. Nivea and Dark and Lovely departures. Nivea and Dark and Lovely, both skincare and hair care brands, withdrew their operations from Ghana, citing high operating costs and taxation. Due to profitability challenges, many companies reassessed their investments and made a strategic decision to relocate or shut down operations. Unilever Ghana relocated its tea production operations to Nigeria in March 2024, citing ongoing economic challenges in Ghana. The high cost of borrowing and rampant inflation have also exacerbated profitability challenges for these companies. The interest rates on loans remain positively high, making it difficult for companies to finance their operations and expansion plans. Inflation has, given up, has driven up the cost of raw materials, labor and logistics, 
squeezing profits margins and leading to unsustainable operating costs. As we've seen, profitability challenges and investment reassessment have led to the departure of several multinational companies. In the next chapter, we'll look into the impact of high borrowing costs and inflation on their business operations. In the previous chapter, we highlighted how profitability challenges and investment reassessments have led to the exit of several multinational companies. Now let's explore how the high cost of borrowing and inflation have further complicated business operations in Ghana. High cost of borrowing. Over the past two years, interest rates in Ghana have soared to levels that make borrowing prohibitively expensive for business. The Bank of Ghana's policy rate reached 29.5% in 2023, while commercial bank lending rates often exceeded 35%. High borrowing costs have hampered the ability of companies to access affordable financing for their operations and expansion. Inflation has consistently remained above 30% since 2022, reaching a peak of over 50% in 2023. This has driven up the cost of raw materials, labor, and logistics. Rising inflation has significantly increased the operational costs of businesses. Multinational companies like Glovo and Nivea found it challenging to maintain profit margins in this environment. The rapid depreci depreciation of the Ghanaian city against the US dollar and the euro has made importing goods and raw materials more expensive. Due to rising import costs, many companies have been forced to increase prices, which has resulted in reduced consumer demand and further squeezed profit margins. The high cost of borrowing and inflation have placed an enormous pressure on businesses in Ghana. In the next chapter, we'll examine how energy challenges and frequent power outages have further exacerbated these issues. In previous chapters, we've explored how economic instability, high borrowing costs and inflation have made it difficult for businesses to thrive in Ghana. Now, Let's dive into another critical issue impacting multinationals and local companies alike, energy challenges and the infamous Doomso or Doom CSA. What is Doomso? Doomso is a Ghanaian term for frequent unplanned power outages. Recently, the, uh, the Nanado government has rephrased it to Doom CSA, meaning when we put it off, we're putting it off to fix it. Despite improvements over the years, power supply remains unreliable and businesses often experience outages lasting hours or even days. As I always say, you can dress up a monkey and wear, wear it makeup, but a monkey is still a monkey, whether it's doom so or doom CSC, the problem still persists. Frequent power outages have forced many companies to invest heavily in backup generators, significantly increasing their operational costs. Maintaining productivity during these power outages is nearly impossible. We've had to pause production several times, which directly impacts our profitability. Different sectors are affected differently by energy challenges. The tariffs in Ghana have increased significantly in recent years, adding to the financial burden on businesses. Rising utility costs have further strained corporate budgets particularly for multinationals requiring significant energy for production. Inconsistent energy policies and frequent policy changes have made it difficult for businesses to plan effectively. The challenges and frequent power outages have only worsened the business environment in Ghana. In the next chapter, we'll take a look at the comprehensive list of multinational companies that have left the country due to these and other challenges. In this chapter, we'll provide a comprehensive list of multinational companies that have left Ghana due to the challenging business environment. These departures reflect the economic and operational issues we've discussed so far. Glovo, a prominent delivery service provider, announced its exit from the Ghanaian market effectively 10th of May 2024. Reasons for leaving profitability, difficult business climate, investment reassessment statement from the global spokesperson and I quote, after carefully reviewing our investment strategy, we found that the current economic environment in Ghana made it challenging to sustain operations profitably. Nivea. The skin brand Nivea discontinued its operations in Ghana in December 2023. Reasons for leaving, high operating costs, increased taxation. 
statement from Nivea, the rising cost of operations coupled with a challenging economic climate forced us to exit the Ghanaian market. Jumia Foods Jumia Foods, the food delivery division of the popular e-commerce platform, shut down in December 2023. Reasons for leaving? Unsustainable market conditions, economic factors. Statement from Jumia Foods and I quote, Market conditions and rising operating costs made it increasingly difficult for Jumia Foods to remain viable. Lipton Tea by Unilever. Lipton Tea um, Unilever Ghana relocated its tea production operations to Nigeria in March 2024. Reasons for leaving ongoing economic challenges in Ghana. Statement from Unilever Ghana. After a thorough evaluation of market conditions, we believe moving our tea production to Nigeria will provide a more stable environment. Dark and Lovely. The hair care brand Dark and Lovely exited the Ghanaian market late 2023. Reasons for leaving challenging economic environment, rapid changes in the beauty industry. Statement from Dark and Lovely. Due to the rapidly changing market and the challenging economic conditions, we've decided to withdraw from Ghana. Bet 365. Now, this is shocking. Bet 365 is absolutely shocking. I mean, in a poor country, you would think that a betting company would make profit. These companies literally thrive off poverty. Bet 365, the online betting company, withdrew its operations from the Ghanaian market in early 2024. Reasons for leaving unsustainable tax burden and regulatory hurdles. Statement from Bet365. The high tax burden and regulatory challenges have made it difficult for us to operate sustainably. In the previous chapters, we've examined the challenges facing Ghana's economy and the implications of the corporate exodus. Now, let's discuss potential solutions and reforms that could help improve the business environment and attract new investments. Urgent economic reforms, tax policy overhaul. A comprehensive review of the current tax re regime is necessary to make Ghana more business friendly. Reducing corporate tax rates and eliminating redundant levies could attract more foreign and local investments. Good policies to stabilize inflation, such as reducing public spending and improving fiscal discipline, would help restore business confidence. Removing frequent power outages is crucial. The government should invest in energy infrastructure and alternative energy sources. Reviewing electricity tariffs and providing subsidies for key sectors could make energy costs more manageable for businesses. Simplifying regulatory procedures and reducing bureaucracy for registering businesses can make it easier for businesses to operate and invest in Ghana. The government should establish consistent economic policies to provide business with long-term clarity and stability. In conclusion, the recent departure of multinational companies from Ghana is a wake-up call. The government must urgently implement meaningful reforms to stabilize the economy and make Ghana an attractive destination for both local and international businesses. By overhauling tax policies, improving energy infrastructure and creating consistent regulatory frameworks, Ghana can regain its position as a hub for investment in West Africa. Thank you for joining us on this journey into understanding why multinationals are leaving Ghana. If you have any thoughts or solutions on this topic, please share them in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to TWS TV for more insightful content. I'm out.